hello everyone in this video we will evaluate the integral which is given in rectangular coordinates and we have to transform this uh, that into polar coordinates r and theta so the first thing you have to do is is that you have to find out the limits and then sketch the graph so that you understand uh, the limiting values so the first one x lower limit is minus one the upper limit is one then y lower limit is zero and y lower limit uh, upper limit is one minus x square you can further simplify this one now if we take square on both sides we get one minus x square and if we take the x square to the left side we have x square plus y square is equals to one and from here you can see that this is an equation of a circle this is an equation of a line this is an equation of a line this is an equation of a line so you can sketch that one and then you would be able to transform that easily into r and theta which is the polar coordinates so to transform this into polar we need to know the region of integration first so just draw the coordinate system x y y axis x axis and that is the origin 0 0 so x is equals to minus 1 if we said this is minus 1 and this is 1 then x is equals to minus 1 would be this straight line x is equals to 1 would be the straight line so your region is between these two lines so the region is here and then it says that y is equals to 0 so we can see that this line is equals to y is equals to 0 so it is bounded by this line and the next one is x square plus y square is equals to 1 which makes a circle so if this is minus 1 and that is 1 then you can see that this is our circle so if this is our circle this equation is x square plus y square is equals to 1 or you can say that x is equals to 1 minus uh, sorry y is equals to 1 minus x square right now since the limit is between y is equals to 0 and y is equals to 1 minus x square so we do we don't need this area or this graph so you can remove this from here or you can use it as a dotted lines so the region that we have to find out the integration is this one starting from this is the origin so now you have to transform uh, the limits of uh, r and the limits of x and y into r and theta so if you look at this one in polar coordinates you have theta is that angle which is the arc so you draw a line from r0 to this one and this is your r but r square is equal to x square plus y square so r here is equal to 1 and the starting r is 0 now we have to start the r uh, from the initial position say if I draw this R here and start it from here to sweep the whole area so you can see that this is the angle theta is equals to 0 start from theta is equals to 0 and it's sweep through the whole region and goes back to this point where theta is equals to pi so the angle is from 0 to pi of this integral region and the r we can find from this equation is 1 
and the starting from where it starts the r is zero so you can transform that that your r your theta starts from zero to pi and the radius starts r from zero to one and then you have x square plus y square which is r square so r square is equals to and then you transform the dy by d dy dx into r dr d theta now you need to simply integrate it so from 0 to pi uh, you first you need to simplify it we can simplify it from 0 to pi from 0 to 1 and this 2 and this 2 will cancel so we would have r3 and then into r so that would be r4 dr d theta now if we integrate this one this gives us r5 over 5 and the limit is from 0 to 1 d theta and then we can substitute the limits so 1 over 5 for r we will write down 1 1 power 5 is 1 and minus 0 power 5 is 0 d theta so we are left with 0 to pi 1 over 5 theta and the integration of a constant is theta in terms of theta from 0 to pi so that gives us 1 over, phi, uh, 1 over 5 theta is pi minus 0 so the answer is pi over 5 thank you very much